might be one of the most important videos I ever post on Mixed Makeup. Today we're gonna talk about my four favorite Korean sunscreens. All right, so I'm joking, this isn't the most important video on mixed makeup, but it's a pretty important video because I feel like Korean sunscreens are really changing the game when it comes to sun protection. Korean sunscreens just feel better, they feel more like their skincare and they have more skincare ingredients in them. They use much more updated SPF filters, they're much more concerned with more uh, broad spectrum protection, so that's protecting you not just from UVB rays, but UVA rays, and UVA rays, you guys, I always say, UVA is for aging, that's what causes the premature aging, UVB is what burns your skin. So you want protection from both, and I really feel like Korean sunscreens have really nailed it. I talk about all the time how much I love Craves the Beat Shield sunscreen, but I know it's not widely accessible for people, so I decided to do this roundup for you, starting with my favorite one. This is by Misha. It's their Essence Sun Milk. It's SPF 50, and it's also PA++++. If you guys don't know what PA++++ means, it's just a measuring system, basically, outside of the United States that tells us how strong the UVA protection is inside of a sunscreen. This product right here is what got me started on Korean sunscreens. I would say this is probably the closest to the beat shield that you're gonna get of all of the Korean sunscreens that I have ever tried. And like I said, this is the one that got me started on my love for Korean sunscreens. It really truly feels like it's a serum. It says essence. I feel like essences are very light in nature, like that is what we associate essences with in our skincare products. And that's exactly how this feels. It's nice, it's light, it's like a liquid that you're putting on your skin. For people that have sensitive skin, it has Sika and Centella Asiatica, so it really helps to calm your skin if it is irritated or it's very sensitive. This is a really good sunscreen for you. It does not leave a white cast. It makes your skin, if anything, feel a little bit glowy and it actually dries down, in my opinion, to a very nice matte feeling, but not overly matte. It just doesn't feel greasy on your skin and that's one of the reasons why I absolutely love this sunscreen. I got this latest bottle from olali.com. I wanted to give them a shout out because I really love the women that started it and the way that they're running their business. They're curating their favorite Korean brands and skincare products and then putting them on their website to sell to you guys. So I highly recommend that you guys check out olali.com. Next up, this is the Biore UV Watery Gel Sunscreen. I have to throw out there, this is actually a Japanese sunscreen, but it just didn't sound right to be like Korean and Japanese sunscreens in the title. This is actually a Japanese sunscreen. It is Biore. I was very hesitant to try this sunscreen, but I ended up loving this one. I got this on Amazon, you guys. You know, it's very correctly called a watery gel, and it's because the consistency of it does feel like it's a gel. It doesn't feel greasy, but at the same time, it's also very high hydrating. It's also great for people that have acne prone skin, oily skin, sensitive skin. This is a really great sunscreen for you if you like to feel something that's more of a gel-like texture and that's kind of what you're going for in your skincare. This feels nice and light on your skin but it also feels like it's hydrating. It also lasts for a long time. It's SPF 50 and it's got the PA++++. So it's four pluses in this. So it's really protecting you from aging and I feel like it just wears really well under makeup. Next up is this one, it's by Purito. It's their Centella Green Level Unscented Sun. This is a very good sunscreen, but what I think is happening is a lot of people are getting introduced to Korean sunscreens with this brand because it's been talked about a lot lately. And what I'll say is, while I think it's good, I think this one is so much better. So if you haven't tried the Misha Essence, I really I really recommend that you guys give this one a try. The one thing I will point out for people that hate fragrance, this does have a fragrance and this does not. What's amazing about this is that it has no white cast and it's just like all the other Korean sunscreens. It has no white cast. It doesn't leave a thick layer on your skin, but I do find this to feel more like a moisturizer. So if you do have oily skin, you might not like it. And actually there's someone in our private Facebook group named Fernando, I absolutely love his posts. He always has something really funny to say. He even gives me a lot of shit sometimes, which I find to be hilarious because I like to joke with people and he's one of those people that I just always have a really good time with online. <laughs> it feels like I know Fernando. But anyway, Fernando had a few funny things to say about this sunscreen, so I'm going to read his post to you guys. Fernando wrote an entire saga. Literally, it's like his own saga. He calls it my sunscreen saga, reviewing 22 sunscreens so you don't have to. And I'm actually going to make an entire blog post 
post about this so that you guys can read the whole thing if you're not in our private Facebook group. He started in November of 2019 and then he's been updating it ever since with all his sunscreens that he keeps trying. So he has a few of these Korean sunscreens on there and one of them is the Purito. And so I'm gonna tell you what he says about it. First off, I'm gonna summarize. So like I said, you guys can see the blog post. I'll leave it in the description box below. But he says, first impression is how shocking it leaves absolutely no weird texture and no capitalization, no white cast on the skin. Literally capitalized, nothing. So that is something that I think really, I mean, that is one of the things that you want to know about Korean sunscreens in general. Not just this one, Fernando, a lot of them feel like that, where there just is no white cast and no weird texture. He says he has oily skin, but it never gets oily because I also know Fernando knows his skincare really well. So for him to point this out is a big deal for those of you with oily skin and maybe even not with oily skin, maybe even normal skin. He says, it was a cold and dry day. So this was unusual. I looked soaking wet by night. So he wanted to point out to you guys that he felt like this made him by the end of the day looking really, really oily. So I think that's something actually really important to point out because I have such dry skin, nothing makes me look like I'm really that oily, not usually anyway. And for me, I did find it very moisturizing. So I think for someone with oily skin, this might end up being a little too heavy for you. Purito does have another sunscreen. It's called their Comfy Water Sunblock. And that one is actually made out of zinc oxide and titanium oxide. So if you like those mineral physical sunscreens, that might be one to look into. I have not tried it yet, but Fernando did try it. And he said that it was a very lightweight mineral sunscreen and perhaps the most lightweight he's ever tried. So I would give that one a try if you like physical sunscreens and if you don't want something to feel a little too heavy for you, but you do want a Korean sunscreen, maybe skip this one and go with the Purito Comfy Water water sunblock. All right, last is this one. It is by Claire's. It's their soft, airy UV essence. For some reason, I, I actually liked the texture and the way this felt a little bit more than I liked the Purito, but it was not very different. The reason why I would say the Purito is better than this one is because I know a lot of people are looking for something that has zero fragrance, and that is this one. It also, I'll, I forgot to mention, has Centella uh, Azutica as well, so it's also very nice and calming for the skin. But this one is a very nice texture. Fernando also had some thoughts on this one as well, so I'm gonna read you that because I just think Fernando's hilarious. He says, this sunscreen feels, capitalization, exactly like the Purito Centella Green Level. Like, there's absolutely no difference other than the scent. <laughs> I think Fernando is actually very right. I think they're very, very similar. I would say though that this one feels like it's a little bit more of a whipped texture in my opinion, and that's why I think I like it better, but it does have fragrance. So those would be the biggest differences between this. This is zero fragrance, this has fragrance, this has the Centella Asiatica to help soothe your skin. This does not, as far as I know. And then this one just feels like a more of like a moisturizer texture, and this feels like a little bit more of a whipped moisturizer texture. I like both of these. I, again, have dry skin, so they felt totally fine on my skin. But under makeup, I tend to use something like a tinted moisturizer during the day when I'm not on camera. So I go back to something like these two. These, to me, feel like they're more compatible with makeup. So if that's something that's important to you, like it is to me, then these might be the way to go. So those are my favorite Korean sunscreen slash one Japanese sunscreen. I highly recommend you guys check out Korean sunscreens. They really are way ahead of the game. They're making sunscreen really feel like it's part of your skincare routine, which is what sunscreen really should be, you guys. Sunscreen is probably the most important part of your entire skincare routine. I like to argue with that it's retinol, but truly, if you're using retinol, you need to protect your skin. Everyone should be protecting their skin if you really care about you know, alleviating the signs of aging, if you wanna protect your skin from any kinds of skin cancer, sunscreen is what you're gonna have to use. So I highly recommend you guys check these out. Tell me in the comments below if you have tried any of them, if you're gonna try any of them. Are there other Korean sunscreens you think that I should try? Because I'm very open to that. I love finding new sunscreens that are just awesome. I'll leave a link below also to the blog post featuring all of Fernando's reviews of the 22 sunscreens he's been trying so that you don't have to. I think it's really funny to read what he has to say, but it also opens your mind to all the different types of sunscreens out there that you can try. I'll also leave a link below to our private Facebook group because we're having amazing conversations about skincare and beauty in general, and we're just just becoming a really big family in there too. You can find me on Instagram, I'm at Susan Yara, and I'll talk to you guys soon, bye.